Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Crystal! Last time I spent way too long getting a Pineco that knows a couple of special moves. But, well, that's not the only time I spent on Pineco. Between the last episode and this one, I went back to the Ilex Forest and I kept headbutting that tree for about three hours. Because it turns out that if you find a Butterfree, if you catch them, they have an 8% chance to have a Silver Powder being held. So you take that from them. It's a held item that increases bug moves by 10%. So I was going to get that and give it to Pineco. But after three hours of looking for it, I still don't have it. So I didn't feel like not uploading a video today just to have a better shot at getting that. So we're going to move on without it. But all right, let's go and actually do a battle with Pineco. We've actually got a very, very good battle for the first one. Ah, not this wild battle. Not this. Please let me run. Can't escape. Please let me run. Thank you. Okay, because Pineco is so slow, I'm gonna put someone else up front just until I walk over to the trainer and then I'll swap back because he has trouble running away from battles. Okay, we're at the trainer. Put Pineco back up front and let's go battle them. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. No, this battle is not practice. This battle is for real. Well, here we've got Picnicker Gina. Let's go battle her and she's gonna have Hopip. A very good battle for, uh, for Pineco here, especially now that they have a bug type move. So this should be pretty easy to take down. I just gotta be careful not to accidentally self-destruct. I'll try really hard not to do that. Here they go for Splash. This is why it's a very easy battle. Even if I was only level five, I could still do this, but we're level nine, so it should be no problem. Now with uh, with Pin Missile here, it hits between two and five times. Every single hit has a chance to be critical, which is awesome. Not get him in one turn. Darn it, we didn't get the five right there. That's okay. We'll get him this time. Now technically it can hit just one time if it kills him, but don't worry about that. Now her next Pokemon is also going to be a Hoppip. As you can see, just from one of those crowds, we got over half of a level. So that means that killing another level nine here, we're going to get up to level 10. So Pineco is going to catch up pretty quick. Now the gym battle in Goldenrod City... I believe their highest level is level 20, so I'd like to try to get my team up around that level as well. Pooh's doing pretty good, gotta catch up a bit with Rita, and definitely need Pineco to catch up, because that is an infamously tough gym battle, so we'll get to that someday. Uh, might be a little while, there's actually a lot to do in Goldenrod, so we'll we'll get to that when we get to that. But for now, let's go get up to level 10! Oh, oh, look at those stats. Actually, has very bad special, but everything else is really good. And her last Pokemon's actually a Bulbasaur, so this should also be fairly easy to take down. Let's go see if we can wreck him with a little bit of Pin Missile action right here. Now, I think Bulbasaur is part Poison, right? And I think Poison actually resists bug type, so this might be neutral, but it'll still, it'll still get same type attack bonus, which is awesome. Now, oddly enough, in Generation 1, Poison was actually weak to bug type for some reason, but in Generation 2, it is actually resistant to it. So, oh well, it's still it's still neutral because of their grass type. Let's see if we can get four or five hits and take them down right here. Level 12 Bulbasaur as well, so it's not even a weak foe right here. Oh, just getting three. Well, that's all right. One more should do the trick here. And because we've got pretty good defense, only five damage from that tackle. And this one will take him down right here. Critical hit. Ooh. And there we are. Will we get level 11? No, not quite. That's all right. Oh, no. I just can't win. You're too strong to be a practice partner. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm on my walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you can have it. Want to give me your number? I'll call as soon as I get anything. Okay, so I guess she'll call us and give us some items right here. And yeah, like I said, I am, I'm too tough for a practice battle. Let me heal up my Pineco real quick, and I'm also going to hand them a berry just to help heal them up in battle if they need it. Wait, am I out of berries? Oh no, we got them down here. Okay, now the second one I want to fight is this guy down here. I'm kind of fighting them in the order of difficulty. That way we can try to uh, get some levels before we do the harder ones, because a couple of them are definitely harder than these first two here. But here we've got... Youngster Samuel with four Pokemon, and the fact that he has four Pokemon is part of why this is a fairly easy battle. Only level seven right here, so let's go start pin missling or just miss. He misses me, I miss him. Goes for a quick attack, only three damage. Okay, watch the damage on this pin missile. I'll show you guys a tackle on another Pokemon here, just so you can see some comparison, just to see kind of how worth it this uh, pin missile really is. I think as long as we get three hits, then pin missile is better. And four and five hits are way better than Tackle. Actually, against Spearow, we're going to swap out because flying type. Spearow is actually a bad battle for Rita, but because they need the experience so bad, we're just going to go ahead and struggle through it. And I think we'll take them down in just one or two cuts. We got like an eight level advantage, so it should be okay. All right, there's one cut. Will we one shot? Okay, there you go. I just really wanted Rita to get back up to level 17 here. Let's go and send... Actually, we'll keep Rita out, Spearow, once again. Okay, the last Pokemon is Sandshrew. So that would actually be, be a good battle for Rita, but it's not that high of a level, so I think I think that Pineco will deal with it just fine here. 
Oh my gosh, Sanctuary is so cute, dude. So let me show you how much a tackle does. Of course, he's using defense scrolls, so it's gonna not actually be very much, but... Oh well, let's go smack him with that tackle, and it does that much, okay. Now let's go check it out with the pin missile. He's going for scratch this time, so he has the same defense. Oh, critical hit, dang. And let's see how much damage this one does. So just one hit of it, just one hit, apparently does more than tackle. So we only got two hits right there, which kind of sucks, but... You can see it's definitely worth doing. Come on, get those four hits. Two more. Oh yeah, we're getting them, dude. We got all four hits right there. So there you go, up to level 11 already. Youngster Samuel was defeated. Beaten by a passing stranger. I'm going to train even harder. After all, I'm trying to become a gym leader. Good luck with that. Let me heal up my Pineco again. All right, let's go take on the next battle. Now this guy is a little tricky, but we should be fine. I just got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Well, I just got my Pokemon back from daycare as well. So I guess let's have a little 1v1 action right here. That is a child. That is not a Pokemon, dude. Well, Pokefan Brandon sending out a Snubble, his only Pokemon. And this one is going to be level 13. So he's actually got a one level advantage over me. No, two level advantage, dang. Well, we'll see how we do. He goes for Bite, and that could flinch me. Does a lot of damage, gets a critical right there. We do have that berry, so we should heal back up. As long as he doesn't get another critical, I think we'll be fine. Man, we're not getting super lucky with these pin missile swings. Only getting two right here. I'd really love to be getting at least three. Goes for another Bite, please don't flinch me. Okay, he doesn't flinch, which is good. If we get five hits, we could take him down right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to use a potion. Oh, once again, not getting super lucky, getting just two hits. And he has a berry of his own, which is kind of why I wanted to kill him sooner rather than later. But let's go ahead and use a potion. Uh-oh, Charm, that's gonna lower my attack. Hopefully we'll get some crits to get through that, or just miss. Only got six PP left. Okay, please get more than two. Come on, dude, get more than two. I guess my bad luck from the last episode kind of carrying over into this one, but thankfully he's only using Tail Whip on me. Come on, just get four hits, we'll take him down right now. Yes, one more. Oh, come on, dude. All right, at that point, I'll just use Tackle. That'll be fine. Even though he lowered my attack, I think he's at one HP, so it should kill him anyways. We got him, dude. And we're not level 12 quite yet, but we'll get there very soon. Okay, so we're mostly done with the trainers here. There's one more right there. Uh, rather than waste more healing items, let me just walk back to the Pokemon Center real quick, and I'll be right back here. Back we go. Let me give another berry to uh, Pineco as well. Here we've got Youngster Ian. And he's sending out a Mankey. Now, Mankey... Not that good for my bug type here, but I got such good physical defense that I think we can manage. Let's just go for a few pin missiles. Oh, he's gonna go for Leer. That might hurt a little bit, but I think we'll I think we'll be okay. So we just have to get a whole bunch of hits right here. Not very effective. I'll use a tackle for comparison purposes, but I think even when it's not being very effective, it's still on average gonna be better than tackle. Maybe we'll see. Let's go ahead and smack this guy with the tackle and see how that does. Well, they're about the same. I think I'm gonna go for Pin Missile just because it does have the chance to get five. And if we get five right here, that should kill him. If he doesn't die here, I'll use a tackle to finish him off. Oh, not quite. Okay, we'll use tackle to finish him off then. Wow, he just kept lowering my defense. He didn't actually attack me at all. So his second Pokemon might be able to do some big damage to me. We're gonna level up here up to level 12. Very cool. Diglett. Now Diglett has pretty low defense, very low HP. So he should be going down no problem, but my defense is so low, maybe I'll take huge damage right here, who knows. Nope, only 10. So this pin missile, I would not be surprised if we kill him with just one pin missile. Ooh yeah, four will do it. Four will definitely do it, but we only get three. Gosh dang it. All right, let's go up to tackle here. Going for grout, dude, you're so low on HP. You're dead anyways, unless my tackle misses, which it doesn't. All right, we got him. 207 experience, getting close to 13 already. No. There are better trainers. Now, people have told me that this guy right here is actually a trainer, and we can fight him if we come here at nighttime. I'll definitely test that out in a future episode, but for now, I'm gonna move on. Uh, if he does battle you, I think he has a Growlithe, maybe. So that could be a battle for Pooh, but Pooh doesn't need the experience right now, so yeah, we'll, we'll battle him a little bit later. So I've mentioned this before, but Goldenrod is huge, and we're gonna be here for quite a while. So I wanna focus on just one particular thing today, the Goldenrod City Game Corner. Now, if we go inside, well, we can't actually do that much. At the uh, counter right here, you're supposed to be able to buy coins, but the problem is we don't have a coin case to hold our coins. Now, once we get the coins, we can play a bunch of games around here and earn prizes, all kinds of cool stuff, and I'll be showing that off after we get the coin case. But for now, let's uh, focus on actually getting it. So to get that, we're gonna go up and go over to the left this way, and if we sneak down between these up, oh, wrong way. I'm actually gonna go down into the left this way. Now, if we go all the way down, we have this spot right here. 
This is the underground entrance. I actually want to enter from a different side. There's two entrances into this place, and the underground is pretty crazy. We'll definitely be coming back to it in the future, but it has trainers, it also has some shops, all kinds of cool stuff that I'll be showing off. But here is the other entrance right here. So let's go inside this way. Let's talk to this guy, I guess. I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You'd better be careful. Rough like sandpaper. Well, the reason I wanted to start with this side is this side just has a battle that's really good for Pineco, so we'll go do that since he's already up front here. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. I mean, I guess Teddy Ursa's kind of rare. I Maybe Chikorita counts as rare. I don't know, man. But here we've got Pokemaniac Donald, and he's going to be sending out a Slowpoke. This could also be a good battle for Chikorita, or Bayleaf at this point, I guess. But since we have Pin Missile and they're part Psychic, It'll miss. His tackle's not gonna do crud. And yeah, because he's part psychic, Pin Missile will do a lot of damage to this guy, so we'll just shred right through him. Might take him down with one, might take a second one. Ah, uh, yeah. Getting unlucky, only getting two hits again, but yeah, one more of those will do it. And Slowpoke is worth some pretty good experience, so we'll probably get level 13 off of this guy as well. So we're pretty quickly leveling Pineco up to where we want him to be. There you go, 211, and level 13. Watch this defense stat right here 32 defense already. Jeez, dude. And out comes a second Slowpoke. Will we get the four hits this time? No, we'll miss again. Only two hits again. All right, we got him. And we're going to be 13, almost 13 and a half now. Yeah, I lost. That makes me mad. Relax, Donald. Are you making a Pokedex? Here's a hot tip. The hiker on Route 33, Anthony, is a good guy. He'll phone you if he sees any rare Pokemon. Well, we've got Anthony's number. Now, this other guy down here is going to have some Steel-type Pokemon, a new type in this generation, and it's... Really good against a lot of things. Steel type defends against most types in the game. However, we have a TM over here, Mudslap, which is a ground type, and that is super effective against steel type, so let's go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna teach it to Pooh. I know he doesn't really need the experience, but the problem is there's no moves I wanna get rid of on Rita, so oh well, we'll, we'll go ahead and teach it to Pooh here because I don't really have much need for Pooh's Leer, so we'll get rid of that one. So let's put Pooh up front and let's go get to battling. Do you consider type alignments in battle? Yes, if you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. That's exactly what I'm doing, dude. I just taught a ground type uh, move to my Pokemon. And for good reason, not only is it steel type, well, he's also going to have electric type. It's Magnemite, so electric steel type. It'll be four times super effective. Now, um, Mudslap is only a 20 power move, so this is going to be basically 80 power. But considering they're low level, that should be plenty. Now, Headbutt is 70 power. But we do have same type attack bonus. We also have the pink bow, which gives it 10% boost. But because steel type resists normal type, it basically wouldn't actually do very much damage. Now out comes a Voltorb. This one is not steel type, so I'm gonna go give this battle to Rita just to get them some experience here. I think Razor Leaf will be plenty fine. One or two of these should do the trick right here. And just one, we got the critical, nice. Yeah, we definitely need that experience. Looking good, getting pretty close to 18 there. And his next Pokemon is gonna be Magnemite, so we'll go back to Pooh. And like I was saying, uh, because of the resistance from steel type, I'm pretty sure Headbutt would be pretty darn weak in comparison to Mudslap for this battle. And Mudslap also can lower their accuracy, but I don't think they'll live that long. Get him! You know what? His last Pokemon, I believe, is also a Magnemite. If it is, let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's use a Headbutt just to see if we would have one-shot them anyways. I mean, maybe we would have because Pooh's a beast. But this one is level 9, so it's not exactly the best comparison. No. Oh. Okay, well, uh... The whole Mudslap thing, I guess, was kind of pointless. Oh, well. Take that, Super Nerd Teru. Ow, ow, ow. No entry beyond this point. I don't listen to you, sign. The door's locked. Okay, I can't really go through there. But right here, we do have a hidden item. It's an antidote. Hooray! There's actually a couple more hidden items down here. And for the next battle, I do want to put Chikorita up front. So let's go ahead and swap them around here. And down we go. There should be one hidden item right here. This is actually a shop. I don't think this is a trainer here. Let's go talk to him. Welcome! I run the Pokemon Salon! I'm the older and better of the two haircut brothers. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just 500 Poke Dollars. Now, at different days of the week, there will be the older or the younger brother. The younger brother only charges 300, the other older brother charges 500. And if you do this, it'll affect your Pokemon's friendship towards you. That'll become important for certain things throughout the game, but not really that important right now, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. But I do want to go... Somewhere down here. Where's that hidden item? There it is. Okay, we also get a super potion right here. And there's another shop down here. I guess we'll go talk to them as well. Hello, dear. I sell inexpensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a trifle bitter. Your Pokemon may not like them. <laughs> so here we can get some healing items. These are actually cheaper than buying, like, super potions or whatnot. The problem is because of their bitterness, 
it'll actually lower your Pokemon's friendship towards you if you use this. So they're not exactly that good to use, but they can be useful if you just want to save some Poke Dollars, but I'm not going to buy those. Now down here, not so hidden, we actually get the coin case. So there it is. Now this last trainer down here, or actually this is not the last one. We'll just go battle this guy. Fight me. Fight me! Alright, out comes Lickitung! Now Lickitung is just a normal type, so any of my Pokemon could have dealt with it, but I figure, you know what, let's go ahead and get some experience for Rita. I like to get them at least level 18 before the gym battle, and this is a pretty good chance to do it. Critical hit, nice. They're gonna go for a cut right here, but, well, one more Razor Leaf will do the trick. I think Lickitung's worth quite a bit of experience, so this should bring us up to 18. Let's see if it does. And it does! Awesome, okay. Uh, that should be enough for the gym, hopefully, but we'll see in the long run. I yeah! Now, for the last trainer, I want to use Pooh, because he's gonna have some poison types. If this is Generation 1, like I mentioned before, poison type would be weak to bug type, so Pineco Pineco would be good against that, but oh well. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. Now, this guy is Super Nerd Eric. He's got two Pokemon, both of which are going to be Grimer. Not a very good battle for Rita or for Pineco, so we're gonna go with Pooh instead. Now, Pineco could probably just, like, tackle a bajillion times to get through, and maybe I will try to do that for the second one, but for this first one, let's just go ahead and use some Headbutt, and that should take him down no problem. And Pooh will get up to level 20. I think Pooh is plenty high level for now, so I'll probably try to avoid using Pooh for the near future here. Let's go ahead and swap over to Pineco and see how a bajillion tackles does. Fight and tackle, and we miss! Wow! Tackle again, and... Yeah, it does a little tiny chunk, and he goes for Harden, which is going to make it take even longer. Let's go see how my pin missile does right here. All right, actually getting all five hits right here. Oh my gosh, dude, we got five in a row again. Two times in a row, we got five hits. That's awesome. He's going for another Harden, which is just going to make my life even more difficult. Ooh, dude, get five again. Now we get three this time. Yeah, not exactly the best battle for Pineco, but I think it's worth doing just to get him the experience instead of Pooh. So there you go. We might get 14. Probably not quite. No, not quite. All right. Grumble. No, not Grumble. Grimer. All right, and that's all to do for now in the underground. So let's get back out of here. Trainers are scary. Aren't trainers like a type of pants? Okay, now that we've got the coin case, let's go to the game corner and actually buy some coins. They're kind of expensive though. 1,000 Poké Dollars for 50 or 10,000 for 500. I'm just gonna buy 50 just for the purpose of demonstration because I don't really care too much about the prizes. Let me go show you guys what the prizes are. From the left trainer right here, we can actually get some uh, Pokemon, no, actually TMs. So these TMs right here are Blizzard, Thunder, and Fire Blast. Very good moves if your Pokemon can learn them. Mine kinda can't, so not really worth it. Also 5,500 would take a very long time to get. Now over here we can also get some Pokemon. You can get an Abra right here, which costs 100, so that's pretty reasonable to do. You could also just catch Abra back on Route 34. We can get Cubone, which is awesome, and you can also get Wobbuffet, a very odd Pokemon with extremely high HP, and his basic game plan is to like use Counter and Mirror Move, or not Mirror Move, Mirror Coat, to reflect a bunch of attacks back at the opponents. Not really one of my favorites to use, but kind of funny. All right, let's go and show off these games then. Now, the first game is pretty straightforward. It's just a good old slot machine. So you can choose one, two, or three coins, which will give you better odds of winning here. And you just hit a bunch of things and get unlucky as usual. Now, if you get three things in a row, whether it be straight or diagonal or whatever, you'll get some coins back. It's pretty rare to actually make your coins back on this one. I don't really like this game too much. What was that? Whoa, whoa. Whoa! What the crud? Oh! No! I've never seen that before. Alright, so I guess Golem can spawn out of nowhere and mess up your game, dude. Not that I was winning that one anyways, but dang. Whoa! What was that? Chansey! Okay! Whoa! Chansey! Yes! Give me those! Give me those sevens! Give me the Yeah! Chansey is the real MVP! What the crud? I didn't even... Okay, maybe I should have actually played these games. I just assumed they were the same as Gen 1. They're not. Pokemon can come out of nowhere and help you out. Chansey giving us that 777 right there, dude. Gosh dang, we're getting out of here. Okay, wow, that was awesome. Let me go show you guys some uh, other stuff right here. Now, here is the other game. This one is... I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know much about casino games, but you pick a card right there, it goes back and forth, and then you have to choose where to put uh, place your bet. So you can either place it on an individual tile right here, and if that tile gets picked, for example, if you get the one of Pikachu's right here, then that would be worth 24 times your bet. I believe a bet is three coins, so it'd be three times 24. You could also bet on an entire row, that'll give you six times instead of 24 times. Uh, if you bet on two rows like this, you'll get three times your bet back. And you can also bet on the columns right here. So if you bet on one column, it'll give you four times your bet. And if you do double columns, it'll give you two times your bet. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bet on the polywag column and we'll see what we get here. We get a Jigglypuff, so we get nothing out of that one. We actually get a polywag, hooray! So that'll be four times my coins back. And that's all there really is to do at the game corner. I was not planning to do this, but since we got so many coins, Let's go and buy an Abra, why not? Here we go, Abra, is that right? Sure, here you go. Look at him, dude, the Psy Pokemon. It hypnotizes itself so that it can teleport away when it senses danger, even if it is asleep. Would you like to give it a nickname? Sure, and I guess this is their name. All right, well guys, with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time and we'll be doing something pretty fun. I'm actually kind of excited about it. So I'll see you guys then, take care.